This is a question statement. Given a m times n matrix, where each element can either be zero or one, we need to print the shortest path between a given source cell to a destination cell. The path can only be created out of a cell if its value is one. Matrix can be used to represent a graph. It is called adjacency matrix. A graph of V nodes can be represented as a V by V matrix. If there is an edge from node U to V, we can put the value 1 at the cell. If there is no kinetic edge between them, or the node with itself, the value in cell is 0. Here are some examples. A directed graph and an undirected graph. So many graphs algorithms can be used to solve matrix problems. In this tutorial, we are going to apply the Brisper search to solve our problem. Find the shortest path in matrix. BFS starts from the source node and traverses the graph level by level, meaning visit all the neighbor's nodes prior to moving on to the next level nodes. Once the key or the destination is reached, we can stop. BFS will give the optimal solution. There are two things you need to pay attention. BFS is often implemented with Q. The Q decides the order of the cells to visit. A variable visited is used to track which cell has been visited. This guarantees one cell should be visited no more than once. BFS starts from the source cell. It visits its adjacent cells that have a value of 1, and keeps going in the same direction. It stops when the next adjacent cell is 0, or the cell is at the edge of the matrix. Save the end cells row and the column to the queue. Repeat the process by taking out the first item in the queue and visit its adjacent cells. If the item match with the destination, the program returns. Now, let's take a look at the code BFS. It will print the shortest path from the source to the destination. First, we define a cell class with the field x, y, dist, and priv. X is a row number in the matrix. Y is a column. Dist is used to keep track the distance from this cell to the source cell. Priv records the last visited cell or its parent cell. It helps to find the sequence of the cells along the path. At the top of the function, it checks whether the start and the end cell's values are zero. If either of them is zero, it means there is no path and return. Next is to define a two-dimensional array cells to keep track of the cells visiting status. It functions the same as a two-dimensional Boolean array visited in DFS and store more information. We initialize each cell with row number, column number. The distance initial value is integer's max value and the priv is null. Now we create an empty queue and enqueue the source cell. It has distance of zero. We also define two variables, type of cell. Dest will store the destination if it is found, and P is a pointer to current cell in process. Inside the while loop, pop a node from the queue. If the node is destination, we can exit from the loop. Otherwise, visit each four adjacent cells by calling visit function. Inside the function, we enqueue each valid cell in the queue with plus one distance, and also save the parent cell in priv. The last step is to check the variable dest. If the dest is no, it means destination is not reached. We simply return. If the dest cell is not no, we retrieve all previous cells starting from destination cell and save them in a list. Finally, we print all cells in this list as a result of shortest pass. In the main function, we have a matrix defined like this. We are going to run three cases. The first one is from upper left to lower right. The start cell is 0, 2. The end cell is 3, 4. When we run BFS, we get the pass from start cell to end cell. Now we run the second case. The direction is from upper right to lower left. The start cell is 2, 4, and the end cell is 3, 2. BFS returns this. 
In the third case, we define start cell T1, in which the value is zero. End cell 33. We run the code. The return from DFS is empty list. This is all notation. The time complexity is m times n. The space complexity is m times n as well. That's it for find shortest path between cells in matrix. Please leave your comment below. I'm Vivian. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. I will see you soon.